Hey guys, it's me Jade. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be a massive Sephora haul. Everything I collected today is actually from like a multiple orders. So I don't really know how many items I have total, but I have a bunch of stuff here in front of me. So if you want to see what I picked up, then keep on watching. So I try my best to like organize it um, by category. So I literally have like a whole box of skincare, I have a box of makeup, and then I have a couple of like hair stuff here. So, so I'm going to start with skincare. So I finally got my hands on the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. I've heard nothing Nothing but great things about Supergoop. This one here is SPF 40. It's water resistant, goes on completely clear. It kind of has like the consistency of like a pore filling primer, or, like a smoothing primer. So you can see there's no white cast. I'm really excited to use this, especially under makeup. Being acne prone, I'm very cautious about what sunscreens I use because I don't want to block my pores. But I've heard really great things about Supergoop. So I'm really excited to try this out and see how it goes. Next skincare item I picked up is a new product I haven't tried before. This is the Sephora Collection Glycolic Acid Overnight Glow Mask. Look at the packaging, guys. Like, so cute. This is supposed to be like an overnight mask that you use. It's supposed to help exfoliate the skin because it has a glycolic acid in it. It's supposed to help Help with skin texture and just overall glow. It's like kind of like a jelly consistency. Um, I'm really excited to try this product. I've tried some of the other like Sephora skincare items and I do really like it. And for the price point, you like literally cannot go wrong. So I'm excited to try this out. The next product I picked up is a cleanser. This is by Kiehl's. This is their Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Herbal Cleanser. That's a mouthful. One of my friends slash coworkers, Jen, she recommended this to me. She says this is a great, great facial cleanser. So I'm really excited to try this out. So this is supposed to be a very gentle, but it's gonna help reduce any inflammation, redness, and really help calm the skin. This is the mini, um, just cause I wanted to see if I liked it. I think it's like $18 um, and then the full size is a bit more, but I'm excited to try this out. I've actually never tried anything else from Kiehl's as a brand either. So I'm really excited to see how this works. This is something that I've heard so many great things about, but I've been very hesitant to pick up. So these are the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Pads. I've heard such amazing things about these from everyone. If you go on the Sephora app, it has like some of the best ratings. It's so basically a two-step peel. It's supposed to help with literally everything. So um, fine lines and wrinkles, pigmentation, pore sizes, basically everything I want to fix. So with these guys, there are three different levels or three different strengths, I should say. It's like a gentle, a universal, then extra strength. Extra strength is recommended for people who have more oily skin or acne prone skin. So that's why I picked this up. So I'm hoping that this is going to help with my breakouts. It's a little bit pricey. So that's why I was a little bit hesitant to pick it up, but I figured it was time just to try it out because I've heard nothing but great things. The way these work is it comes with like two separate pads. So you use pad one and you just wipe it all over a clean face. You let that sit for a couple minutes and then you go in with pad number two and that neutralizes everything and then you just put on your moisturizer and then go to bed so it's pretty simple pretty easy i'm really excited to try this out and see how it goes if you guys want to see a video on like how my skin is with this then let me know but i'm really hoping that this transforms my skin the next surprise i picked up these are more of the sephora multi-purpose oils i think my last sephora haul that i did i talked about these i love to use these for like as a body oil when i get out of the shower i've seen that these have been on sale in the app for a while so i'm wondering if these are being discontinued so i basically just stocked up and picked up a couple extra i got the jojoba protecting oil it smells really good again works well for like hair and body so i picked up two more of these the next thing i picked up these are the sephora basically they're just like Con swabs, organic con swabs. Put in a pack of 200. It comes with a cute little like recycle packaging. Um, I just needed extra and I saw them on the app. So I picked some up. I don't know. <laughs> um, nothing too special. Like I get, again, I've never tried these ones before, but I'm assuming they're just gonna be like any other general con swab. So I got that. This is the Sephora Collection Face Mask Applicator. The double-ended silicone tool designed for mess-free hygienic application and removal of facial masks. A lot of times when you stick your finger in products to pick it up, you're putting bacteria in the product. And obviously that's bad because you don't want bacteria building up in your mask. So using like a sanitized tool is the way to go. You can see on the side here, it's kind of just like a, like a really thin kind of like scoop Super size. So this is what you use to pick up the product. And then on this side, it has these little like bristles. So this you can have to kind of massage the product in. Or if you're using a mud mask that kind of dries down, you can use the bristle side with a little bit of water to help remove it. I figured I just pick it up for myself because I love to do face masks. I think that's it for skincare. One second, let me 
Let me clean up. I guess I'll go into hair care because I have a few items that I also picked up. First thing is just some bobby pins. These are just the Sephora collection no slip bobby pins in black. I think they have two colors. They have black and brown. Comes in a pack of 45. Bobby pins are just one of those things where I can never keep track of them. I just always lose them. I have no idea where they go. So I always tend to kind of restock every once in a while. Hopefully I don't lose these as quickly. Um, and I think I picked up, this is the Way Wave Spray. I love this product. First of all, I love anything from Way. It just smells so yummy. Their stuff smells so good. And then their Wave Spray is amazing. So you just use this on damp hair when you get out of the shower, kind of let it air dry and it just helps enhance your natural waves and reduces frizz. This is the full size Wave Spray that I picked up. Another product that I picked up from Way. So this is actually a product that I haven't tried before that I'm looking forward to testing out. This is their super dry shampoo. This is actually a set where you basically get a full size and the mini for the same price as just doing the full size. Basically get the travel size for free. So I was like, why not? I just ran out of my IGK charcoal dry shampoo and I was just looking to try something new. My scalp gets very oily. So I need something super, super strong. It's supposed to be their more like heavy duty one. So I'm hoping that this works out really well and can tackle my super oily scalp. I actually picked up a new hair tool. So I picked up, this is the T3 curling wand. No, it's not. What is it called? I don't even know what I'm talking about. This is the T3 twirl convertible. It's their curling iron. And the set that I picked up, you get the bottom piece and then you get the top. This is the curling barrel with the clip and you just pop them in together. You just twist this middle piece to lock. And it looks like this. And I do love the idea that you can buy the other parts to basically attach onto this. And it just gives you the versatility to have like a bunch of different curls and curl types and curl sizes with one tool. So I thought that was really cool. It has automatic shut off too. So if you forget to turn the curling iron, it will shut it off for you. It has different heat settings. So here you can choose between five different settings. It's just overall healthier for your hair. So that's why I picked this guy up. I'm excited to put this to use and see what I think. So I actually picked up two fragrances and they're both from YSL. I got one for me and one for Andre. This one here, this is the YSL Libre. I've been dying to get this ever since it launched. So I picked up, this is the 50 ml. The bottle is so cute, look at this. I love the black and the gold and like the YSL across the bottle. Ugh, it just smells so yummy. It's like floral, but a little warm. And I would see myself wearing this more like evening time, if that makes sense. I don't like warm, sense but this is like the perfect amount where it's not too much whenever i wear this i always have people asking me what i'm wearing because they love it so much i smell like i know what i'm doing in life when i wear this if that makes sense and another YSL fragrance this is a repurchase for andre the cologne that he always wears this is the lum it's the blue. I actually picked this up. This is gonna be like part of Andre's like anniversary present. I love this fragrance on him. I just love YSL fragrances in general. They're just so good. They last well on the body. I feel like they don't like wear off easily. You know what I mean? From the 100 mil because he uses this all the time. Now it's time to get into makeup, which is the biggest section of them all. I literally have so much makeup, guys. It's gonna take me a hot minute to just even like go through it and unwrap it. So bear with me, bear with me. Because I'm running out, I picked up a, another one of my Urban Decay All Nighter. This is just the original spray. Honestly, this is my go-to. I just always go back to it no matter what. I just got like the regular full size. These two products are also repurchases. So this is probably my favorite, favorite mascara combo. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys. Um, Marc Jacobs, the Velvet Primer and the Velvet Noir Mascara. Guys, game changer. The primer comes in the white tube like this. It's not like a white primer. It's actually more like a tan color. When you put this on, it just helps thicken up your lashes without clumping them. So that way when you go in with the mascara, it just helps your lashes look so much thicker and fuller and longer. So that's step one. And then step two, you're gonna wanna go in with the actual mascara. One of my favorite mascaras on the market, it looks like this. It just has like a slight hourglass wand to it. This mascara is so black, makes your lashes look so full and so thick without clumping. It doesn't flake. It's just amazing. But these together are magic. Another repurchase is one of my favorite brow pencils. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I always get the shade dark brown. It's just one of my favorite go-to pencils. It's just so good. I'll kind of try other ones and I always just end up going back to this. I just like having a really thin, precise pencil to fill in my brow hairs. I feel like everyone's heard of this, tried it themselves. I don't really want to go too much in depth. Basically, you just ran out and needed a new one. So I picked one of those up. So I think the rest of my products are actually all new. So I'm really excited. I actually picked up a new sharpener. This is just from NARS. 
Why is it not coming out? It has the two sizes. So one that's just standard size for eyeliners and lip pencils. And then the thicker one, if you have like any like jumbo eye pencils or jumbo lip pencils, pick one of those up because I needed one. Next, I actually picked up, this is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I've heard such good things that I figured I would just try it out, especially now with COVID. I'm not really wearing a full face of makeup anymore. I mean, besides right now because I'm filming, but normally when I have the mask on, I just spot conceal. I really want to try the soft matte because it's supposed to be very full coverage, but not overly drying, but really good for spot concealing. And normally custard's like my fall and winter shade. So I went with the shade here to try it out. So I'm really excited about this. Another product from NARS that I picked up, this is one of their blushes, first of all. I am obsessed with blushes, guys. It's probably one of my favorite makeup products. I'm just, I love layering on blush. It is their Orgasm X. So their original Orgasm, which is one of their most like popular blushes. On my skin tone, personally, I just don't like it. I want something with a little bit more punch. So when I saw Orgasm X come out, I was literally in love. So this is what it looks like here. It's gorgeous. It's like a pinky, corally color. It looks so, so pretty. I also love NARS blushes. They're one of my favorite blush formulations. I'll swatch it for you guys so you can see. Oh my God, guys. Look how pretty that is. Just the right amount of shimmer where it's not like chunky glitter, but it has a really beautiful sheen on the skin. Oh my God. This is so pretty. I can't wait to put this all over my face. Next product, this is the Sephora Micro Smooth Face Powder. It is a baked powder, so it's super like finely milled. When you put it on the skin, it just smooths over pores and texture. Adds a little bit of color, but not too much. It's like the perfect finishing powder. So it looks like this. I picked up shade 30 just based on like my skin tone and where I'm using it. I like to use it more on the center points of the face. So I want something a little bit lighter. The texture is so velvety smooth. And when you put it on, you can just see it has a little bit of color, but when you rub it in, it just blends. It's like butter. It's so, so good. Highly recommend this to people. We are like slowly but surely making our way through. We're almost there. I can see the finish line. So I actually picked up a pair of lashes. These are the House of Lashes times Patrick Ta collab. First of all, Patrick Ta is probably one of my favorite makeup artists in the game right now. Just the way he does makeup is just so beautiful. Very much what I want my face to look like 24 7. When he came out with these lashes, I immediately fell in love. These are the style I mean. Get longer on the outer ends, so maybe that really nice cat eye, but they kind of have like little bunches, so it's going to give you a little bit of like kind of gaps, which I personally like because I feel like it lets your eyeshadow kind of really pull through. These ones are 100% vegan and cruelty free. I also saw his campaign photos with these lashes, and every single model that wore these lashes looked gorgeous, so I was like, I need to pick these up. This is the Sephora like shadow and liner like jumbo sticks. These have been around for a really long time and this is in the shade dark brown matte number 24 the good thing about these is that they do have a really creamy consistency so you can kind of like smudge it out and smoke it out but they do dry down and they're fully waterproof so once they set they are not moving on you it's a really nice like neutral brown shade i picked this up because i really feel like when i do like a nice brown smoky eye i like to use a cream base and you're only working with powders you never get a really good saturation of color you can even use it as a liner like in your waterline and it's not going to budge on you the rest of the products i picked up are all lip products Products. I just kind of went crazy. Um, so first things first, I got, these are just the lip liner to go from Sephora. They're like eight bucks each. So these are the three colors I picked up. So from the lightest, this is pale beige, that's deep beige, and then that's deep brown. So I feel like those shades are just really, really pretty. They go in really creamy and they are like a pencil liner. So you do have to sharpen them, which I personally prefer as opposed to the retractable ones because you can get like a really crisp, fine point. Super happy with those. The next two products I grabbed, these are two of the Sephora Collection Lip Stories. By far the best $10 lipsticks I've ever tried. So this is number one brunch date and this is supposed to be a really pretty nude color so it looks like this so creamy and it's very pigmented but it looks like that i love a good nude lipstick and then the other one i picked up is number 23 called sephora loves canada so this i think was limited edition it's a red lipstick it's another matte formula looks like this it's a really pretty red and then i'll swatch this one for you guys too it looks like that it's very pretty it's a little bit more of like a pink red but not too pink, if that makes sense. It's matte, but it's not drying on the lips, which I really like. These last three products, I think I'm 
most excited about. Sephora launched new glosses. Um, this is in the shade 95 Booked. So this is what the wand looks like. So you can see it has really good pigmentation. That's off of one swipe. It's really, really pretty. I actually tried this on in my video where I was testing new makeup. So I'll link that if you guys want to check it out. They're very high shine, but they're not sticky. So I really, really like this. And there's honestly so many shades you can choose from. So Sephora came out with like a clean makeup line now. And these are two of the glossy lip oils. So I love lip oils. My favorite that I have right now is the Dior one. It's amazing, but obviously it's pricey. So if these ones are really great quality as well, I feel like these are going to be such a good steal. So I got two different shades. Number two, this is apricot. And I also got tamarind, which is number three. So more of like a brownie nude. So, so it comes in like a little tube like this. And this is what the wand looks like. Let me show you what it looks like. That's apricot right there. So you can see how shiny. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. <gasps> I'm going to try the tamarind. It's a little bit darker. So maybe I'm curious to see if there's more pigment to it. The, ooh, and that's the tamarind there. So a little bit darker. I feel like that would be really pretty for fall. Like a nice like darker lip. So that's the Sephora lip gloss. And those are the two lip oils. So you can see how they're all very high shine, but the lip oils do have a very light wash of color compared to the gloss. It's a little bit more opaque. I don't want to try one on. Okay, I kind of blotted my lips a bit. I really want to try the apricot shade on and give you guys kind of an impression. Let me see. Ooh, these feel so nice. Not sticky whatsoever. They feel actually quite thin. Like they're not like thick or goopy. Guys, these are so pretty. I'm obsessed with this. I bet you any money this apricot shade is gonna be my new like go-to gloss. Whew. Okay guys, that was a very long video. My throat is hurting. Darn, it's not Corona. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up today's massive Sephora haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy these types of hauls, let me know. If there's any products here that you're interested to see how they play out, um, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.